First at 11, much more attention on the tropics than this time last night. This is a large and still developing system that we could need to prepare for. Good evening, I'm Elliot Rodriguez. Lauren is off tonight. If this disturbance makes a move towards South Florida, any impact would likely come this weekend. Tonight, it's still too early to know. Let's get right out to Chief Meteorologist Craig Setzer. He has the new advisory at 11 o'clock. Craig? Elliot, unfortunately, not a lot of new information tonight. The system is not any better consolidated. It has grown a little bit in terms of its thunderstorm intensity. I'll show you that in a second on the radar. Wind still estimated to be about 40 miles an hour, but it is moving really quickly to the west northwest now at 25. Typically, tropical waves uh, move this quickly. This is just a huge, huge tropical wave like disturbance that's moving along. So, with this faster movement, that means that things are going to unfold more quickly. In fact, here is the latest uh, threat cone. This area here in yellow is the tropical storm condition area, and you can see it's already just about to enter the Leeward Islands there near uh, Dominica as well as Guadalupe. As we go forward into time, there is the cone, the forecast cone from the National Hurricane Center, but you can see tropical storm conditions overspread the islands. This is tomorrow evening uh, over Puerto Rico now experiencing tropical storm conditions as well as the Virgin Islands. Then after that, the next two Two forecast points are critical because if the center tracks right over the southern part of that forecast cone there, uh, it would likely be disrupted, the circulation, by Hispaniola. Of course, Haiti and the Dominican Republic have very tall mountains, and that typically disrupts tropical circulations. But if it tracks a little bit farther to the north, then it could emerge it's still somewhat more intact. After that, it's up into the Bahamas. This is the Friday time frame here, Friday evening. And then here we go into Saturday and eventually Sunday. And you can see, uh, even though we've got the cone outline here, which tracks the center, that is the area of possible tropical storm force winds now pretty much over sweeping South Florida during the day on Saturday and into Saturday night. So certainly something we're watching very closely and have to consider in our mind preparing for because you don't want to be unprepared. You don't want to be caught behind on something like this if it, uh, the confidence becomes higher that it's coming to South Florida. There it is. Wow, what a mess, huh? Look at this. Meteorologically speaking, it is a mess. Lots of thunderstorms here on the west side have really blown up. This is where some of the stronger wind gusts are, but still no well-defined circulation. The kind of the middle of the whole thing is right there. So what are we doing? What are we supposed to do with something like this? Well, we should plan. We should plan for a tropical storm with the possibility it could be a little bit stronger. So we're going to be checking flashlights and generators before Friday night. Could be some wind issues, so anything that could blow around, we're going to secure that before Friday night. Finally, this does not right now look like a shutter event. However, if it got close to us and started to strengthen, we might need to consider putting shutters up. Too early to tell. We should know that, have a better idea on that by Thursday. More on that, more on the models tonight coming up in just a bit. Elliot. 